what you have here. We have a lot here. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a few of my um, demonstration equipment that I use for my class. So I have my baby doll here who uh -huh. I use with breastfeeding. Uh -huh. I also use him to show how to bath the baby uh -huh. and how to position yourself for breastfeeding. Okay. And we can do a diaper change because he's naked. Uh -huh. And then there's breast, a breast for breastfeeding. Okay. This we can use for a diaper change. Okay. And I have these to show the size of the baby's stomach. Okay, awesome. So what do we start with? Now, we mm -hmm. can start with breastfeeding. Okay. Okay. All right. So most times, yes. one of the things and the most important things for a mom is to learn how to position herself and the baby right. just before she breastfeeds. Okay. Right. right. There's a lot of this, and I don't know if you did that with your baby, doing the scissors. The scissor, I call it the scissor hold. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We don't advocate for the scissor hold. Mm -hmm. I'm a lactation educator, so I teach and train about breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to put four fingers under mm -hmm. and the thumb on top of the breast. Okay. okay. Because if you do the scissors hold, then one of the things you need to do is ensure that the areola, which is this black area, right. is inside the baby's mouth. If I put my fingers there, yeah. then I prevent the baby from taking as much as they possibly can right. into the, their you mouth. possibly suffocate the baby, am I right? Your fingers yeah. are in the way. Uh -huh. So you need to have your fingers out of the way by having your four fingers under mm -hmm. and your thumb on top. So you can clearly see I'm away from the black area, which is the areola. Mm -hmm. Some moms have a small one. And other moms have a lot bigger than this. Right. An inch of it should be in the baby's mouth. Okay. 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 So another thing we must ensure, I'll put mm -hmm. you down here and take this one. Mm -hmm. One of the things babies do when they're ready to breastfeed, they'll put their hands in their mouth. Mm -hmm. They'll thrust their tongue in their mouth. Mm -hmm. They'll turn to the side trying to get the baby. Right. So by the time you pick up your baby, they're crying, which is the last sign mm -hmm. that I've tried to talk to you, mommy, but you're not seeing. So yeah. they cry. Yeah. You find, you pick up your baby and they're facing their breast. So you quickly uh -huh. whip out your breast uh -huh. and you put your baby on the breast so, like that. So your baby is telling you, I want some milk. Yes. I want to feed, yeah? Yes. And then you find them turning this way. They usually turn from side to side yeah. looking for the breast. Yeah. But this is not the right position. Okay. Your baby's stomach should not be looking up at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. You need to turn your baby this way so that their their ear their shoulder their hip mm -hmm. are on a straight line okay because we also don't eat right like this we right. drink like this we eat like this so you we're aligned yeah. so even for your baby their tummy mm -hmm. and their stomach the ear you just the ear shoulder and hip so tummy to tummy is the first thing mm -hmm. tummy mommy's tummy and baby's tummy must mm -hmm. be touching each mm -hmm. other then there's this hand yeah. most times it's kept there mm -hmm. and then you try and breastfeed your baby Okay, so it's but okay for the hand to be there. It yeah? should not. Oh, it should not. No, okay. this hand uh -huh. should be under. Okay, like your armpit towards that side. Okay, okay? because if the hand is here, then the baby's kind of farther away from you. Okay, there should also be no vitambas, shawls and things yeah. and blankets. <laughs> and all. So you have your baby here, yeah. and your breast is here, and yeah. you have this barrier between you. Yeah. So you take off all the blankets. Yeah. Completely leave your baby with their clothes. I'm sorry, mine is naked, mm -hmm. and then. Put your baby tummy to tummy, mm -hmm. four fingers under your breast, okay? Right. This is a cross cradle position, the way I'm holding, just on the neck, not mm -hmm. on the head, because mm -hmm. there's a soft spot here, just as it is at the other at the okay. forehead. Okay. So the arm is there, mm -hmm. you tickle the baby's nose and their top lip, and once they open, you draw them into the breast. Okay. Okay? Okay. They start to they suckle. Start. Okay. It shouldn't be noisy, you shouldn't hear the... Mm -hmm. It should be quiet, all you hear is a swallow. Uh, swallow okay once you know the latch is right you let go of this hand and you can cradle your baby okay, okay. then there's this other hold which everybody does mm -hmm. your baby is here try this other, use this other bigger boy mm -hmm. so your baby is on your on your elbow and their head should actually be opposite the elbow for mm -hmm. a bigger baby is a lot easier mm -hmm. so you hold your breast four fingers under thumb on top they open their mouth and you draw them. You don't take the breast to the baby oh, okay. this way. Because you, you see them, mom's yeah? doing this and putting the baby. Yeah. No. You sit back comfortably, then you draw them in. Okay. Okay. If you have to keep touching and pressing your breast down for the nose, mm -hmm. that's not a perfect latch. A perfect latch should be hands-free. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just remember, tummy to tummy, bring the baby to the breast. Don't take the breast to baby. Bring the baby up to the breast, okay? Mm -hmm. You can always put a cushion, mm -hmm. either a pillow or the nursing uh, pillow, mm -hmm. you know that? Uh, right, yes, I do, yes. That helps to bring the baby a little bit higher mm -hmm. and you're able to rest mm -hmm. your, your elbows or your arms on that pillow. How long should the baby be there? Is there a time limit? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I don't always say don't watch the clock. Mm -hmm. Just let the baby feed as for as long as they ca possibly mm -hmm. can. Mm -hmm. But you need to empty one breast mm -hmm. before you come to the next breast. Okay. So about 30 minutes on one breast okay. before you change to another breast. There are two types of milk that are produced in a feed. There's either the foremilk and the hind milk. So first you start with the foremilk, which is the watery milk, mm -hmm. and then it starts getting thicker, which is what we call the hind milk. Right. The baby needs both types of milk. Mm -hmm. The first milk is very watery, it helps to quench their thirst, mm -hmm. and then the other one helps them to stay fuller for longer, put mm -hmm. on weight, mm -hmm. grow well, mm -hmm. and they, they're able to go for a longer period without having mm -hmm. a feed. So let's say two hours mm -hmm. or three hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now is it normal for your baby to kind of bite on your nipple because it's so painful yes, sometimes uh, yes yeah now that's the the myth that number one about breastfeeding is painful mm -hmm. breastfeeding should not should be, be painful and every mother is made to believe breastfeeding is painful it's not painful what happens that just is a wrong latch if breastfeeding is painful mm -hmm. then the latch is wrong because baby is just munching mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. the nipple using this as a straw to extract milk from your breast right but this part here is where all the milk will come out from. Okay. The nip, you've ever had, seen a baby sucking their thumb? Yes. They put this tip right up at the roof of their tongue, yeah. of their mouth, yeah. and they rub onto this. Okay. Same thing as breastfeeding. Okay. This nipple, baby needs to feel it at the roof of their mouth, mm -hmm. but they are massaging this area. So if you're just giving your baby the tip mm -hmm. of the nipple, mm -hmm. you have cracked, bleeding, sore nipples. Now, right. the answer okay. to cracked, bleeding, sore nipples mm -hmm. is lanolin. Okay. 100% lanolin. lanolin. Okay. Not the lanolin that you go to the for a pe pedicure and you have this white uh -huh. cream applied on your on your feet right. and on your toes. Yeah. Not that one. Uh -huh. It's yellow. Okay. okay. This is branded. Uh -huh. Doesn't mat matter what brand you get. Uh -huh. It is yellow. Can you see how thick it is? Yes. It's very thick. Uh -huh. So you actually have to spread it and melt it. Now it has melted. Then you take your breast and apply it all around your nipple area all around the areola after your baby after, feeds yes exactly okay. after a feed mm -hmm. even before what you can do is squeeze the nipple mm -hmm. get some milk your breast milk mm -hmm. apply mm -hmm. let it air dry mm -hmm. once it has dried mm -hmm. then you apply this our mm -hmm. breast milk has antibacterial antifungal antiparasitic mm -hmm. effect it's like medicinal mm -hmm. once that is done then apply this it keeps it moist okay. and helps with healing okay is okay. there a way that i can avoid leaking is there any way <laughs> That we just need it's to normal, it has it's, to happen. It's fantastic. You, you start to feel a bit of a tingle. It's kind of embarrassing tightening. though. It is. Yeah. So <laughs> what you use is the breast pads yeah. that you can apply. Uh -huh. Some moms use cotton wool, but mm -hmm. that gets soaked, soaked quite quickly. Very quick, you yeah. put breast pads under your bra mm -hmm. and then you should be fine. Okay. If, because it, you find when you're breastfeeding baby on this side, then you also are licking on this side. Uh -huh. It's unavoidable. You start to lick. Mm -hmm. on this side. Mm -hmm. So this side have a breast pad and to have a breast pad you need to wear mm -hmm. a nursing bra. Mm -hmm. It's quite comfortable to wear a nursing bra. Some moms prefer not to use one. They feel oh it's too tight, it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But when you wear a nursing bra mm -hmm. you're a bit more comfortable. Your breasts are heavier so you feel supported. Okay. <laughs>